Now I regret turning off the treadmill because I want to show what I've done. Tonight at like 6 or 7 p.m., probably more 7, I noticed that I was 6 kilometers away from reaching my 50 kilometer a goal. So I stand, I walked in the treadmill for an hour and a half. And here I am. I'm gonna get serious. I think I went through four, maybe five, two kilometer eggs. Just to keep myself going, just watching. Since I wanted to watch the videos anyways, I brought my switch down and watched the videos while I did my adventure sync. So close yet so far. But I think just a little bit of walking I do when I get up in the morning. Preparing breakfast and a little bit of running around the office that I may do in the morning. Should be more than plenty to put me over 50. I wasn't even going to shoot for that 50 kilometers this week, but because I felt like I really slacked off Monday for Thursday and I wasn't even halfway there. But sometime after Saturday community day, I got a lot closer than I was expecting, so I just had the urge to finish it. Because my original goal was to do it this week. Because I knew I'd be walking so much on community, so I thought it would be an easy task. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. If we get it done. But honestly, if I didn't have a good, strong feeling we'd get it done, I would push myself even further, even though I need to get to bed at 10 because I get up at 6 for work. Just because I come so far already. Well, see you for the results. Not gonna lie, I have a bad feeling about this. Walk around this morning before hanging out to work. Only got like a couple portions of a kilometer. I guess would it help if I put the Wi Fi on? So I was saying, only got a couple portions of a kilometer while walking before work, and I did get a decently sized chunk of a walk during right before work after I left but I get the feeling I didn't track any of that because I got the dread GPS signal now found so I guess we'll see how I did Way too close. <laughs> it's about it's about ready to miss that. I wouldn't have been upset about not getting it if it wasn't for the fact that I've put so much time last night into trying to get close enough to reach it. And how late it made me end up staying afterwards, just a whole collide fact that because I waited so much longer to get to my room. Spent more time up before getting to bed. Things like that. But here's the big thing. What am I going to get from it? A 5 kilometer egg. Okay. A 10 kilometer egg. So I did get both. Look, I definitely did enough treadmill walking to clear out all the eggs. To the point where I still don't have enough egg slots filled up to start opening gifts. Well, I guess one left. Maybe I could do a low and egg. I could take one a low and egg, I guess. We'll see. This is not exactly my best ideal vlogging time or place. It's time. Time to see what the Adventure Sync Geek has in store for us. And it's a Shinx. No shiny, but considering I got the one I need for the reel already, this certainly helps. Best of them, HP, defense, oh man, perfect in everything but attack. Really good Shinx. 
I didn't even realize they had this on in the background. And, cause why not? Gotta set a new egg on here anyways. Also, I should probably... I think there's something I want to include at the end of the community day. Video. So let me get another egg on here and then I'll... Go a little more into that, I suppose. Allow me to try to recreate the reaction I just had two seconds ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! No way. So, I think this could be an adventure sync egg or anything. I just had my phone notification since I was heading home from work saying, Oh, the egg's gonna hatch? But I was, had to do the whole drive from work to where I'm gonna pick up Smash Brothers. And I figured I'd put a new egg on before walking in. And this happened. This happened. <laughs> Six dash nine. I scroll from Priesel. Attack. Really strong. So I really should go in there and pick up Smash Brothers. The whole reason I came up here. And I don't know what to name this guy, this gal. Because it's kind of got the purple Christmassy feel to it. And. Uh, and. But I was here to pick up Smash Brothers when it happened. I'll have to think about that. Did I mention I have not gotten a Shining Rosalia at all? So this actually works out perfectly, and. <laughs> this is nuts. That's all I'll say. You know what would be really nuts, though? If one of these two Natus sitting outside of the game store that I'm buying this at were shiny. They're not! But it's worth to ponder. Okay, for real, I gotta go pick up that game before it gets any later. Especially because I just got that phone call in the middle of doing the vlog. <laughs> asking if I could take care of some things when I got home. So, I'll have to see how it goes. Nice, rare candy is nice. More importantly, I'm actually able to reclaim my research breakthrough for the week. Any other goodies in store? Six Shinx candy, which is fine enough with me. Let's see, I'm really be able to pass it down HP, attack. <laughs> Seems like every time I get a better Shinx. It is. <laughs> it's better than the one I just hatched yesterday. If only because of the attack IVs and the CP formula. I have appreciated just being in front of a stop like that. Can't win them all, I guess. Seeing this gym's good enough, because what I really want to do is just restock on the items and gifts while I eat my piece, so. Looks like it's gonna be a case of be careful what you wish for. Look at this big boy. Look at him go about the same size as a freaking raid boss. He's no tiny boy anymore. I'm totally not just filming this on the off chance that it's a shiny. That's totally not the only reason I'm doing this. Totally not the only reason I walked out into this dark isolated gym that just so happened to have a Shinx raid. Ugh. When it takes so long to load, I always get my hopes up on the bright side. This should at least get me close, if not give me enough candies to be able to fully evolve a Shinx into a Luxio. It's been 10,000 years. Keep 
leave out all things to hold me up. It had to be this. This stupid thing. I'll be honest, I was starting to suspect that this guy was an urban legend, or at least like a regional exclusive. <laughs> Haven't seen any my entire time up here. I was seeing like tons of snowbirds and all that when I chance to hit, chance to walk. Dang, why did I give it a rest? I meant to give it a... Really need to give it a... Pin up. Oh, if I found one already, that's at least a good sign that there's plenty more to come. At least I call it during the double candy, you know. And I guess while I'm recording a venture sync. In general, I can finally get this guy. Been holding on to this quest <laughs> for ages and a half. And now I can finally get that check mark off. As soon as I hit the ball on him. Now I just gotta figure out where the heck I'm gonna find a Kabuto and an Autumnite. Or fossil Pokemon in general. Cause I doubt it'll be anywhere around here. Speaking of, I might as well get my first... Might as well get my first gift of the whole Christmas holiday event. And Hope is one of the two new Pokemon that are exclusive to these specific eggs. And in the meantime, I might as well walk to the next egg, because there was half an hour left when I came here on this raid. Considering we're almost at 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure anyone that was going to do this raid has already done it. So I'm better off just camping at the next egg or so. No stinking way. Now, you know how I was like hold down to a whole bunch of research waiting to get to that part of special research where I had Aerodactyl to claim. So I did that finally got claim from my research and yes a beautiful tan white Eevee is waiting for me. It's like the best thing ever. I can see the best part about this is that because it's a field research, I can take it wherever I want and not worry about losing it. I know I'm being really risky by catching other things along the way, but the dairy, 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 worst case scenario. It's not like I've already caught a bazillion Eevees. I just gotta get a good picture with it. 
and it's six o'clock at night in December. A couple days before Christmas, as a matter of fact. So the lighting's gonna be poor unless I actually walk to an area that's like outside of a building or something. And there's no point in letting the star piece go to waste while I do that. I think this general area will work. Works a little too well, but you know what? Ooh, it's a spooky ghost Eevee. It goes through the window. Just taking for to take one that's a little more realistic. I'll take this Eevee wherever it needs to go. <laughs> Yeah, now they actually catch this thing and move on. It was certainly fun. Guess we can at least see how good it is. Really. For a research Pokemon, I was hoping it would be a little bit better, but eh, that's still pretty good for a shiny. <laughs> Excellent. I got an excellent fro on uh, the golden raz and the game froze. The good the good news is that I can still go back in at least, but yeah, I am back in. I think that was the first excellent fro I got on the guy though. It just sucks it was wasted. And it wasn't perfect anyways. Yeah, because I got 2110, 
and that's definitely higher than the other one I got and that one had perfect defense. nice and all but we all know why I'm really here there you are